Of Spring Tavern Tales. My name is Nimsch and I'm here with Raven and Lothar to bring you this amazing tournament back from Bucharest, Romania. Uh, Raven, who do we have next? Yeah, so we've got Tice coming up next versus Game King. So two pretty well-known players, actually. Tice, obviously, super well-known, whereas Game King, uh, maybe not quite as popular and they've got quite as many tournament wins or anything like that, but definitely uh, well-known within the scene, at least within the play base. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and he's playing forfeit to Kalmar, so one of the best German teams, actually, right? Uh, known in the community. Uh, he had a slight mishap during the preliminaries, right? Because he wasn't allowed to play because of the problems with his battle net having a different name than his own. And that was practically kicking him out before even starting playing. So I'm sure that he will be looking here uh, for redemption to, you know, just have something... For, um, instead of that tournament. Yeah, yeah. De definitely like a tough break for him because, uh, you know, he does take this game quite seriously. Uh, really good deck builder as well. He's, um, I don't know if you guys have played it much, but uh, he built one of the more recent Agro Paladin variants, which actually was performing really well for a time. Not uh, the egg one. Not the egg one. Okay. Uh, just Agro Paladin with no secrets. But, but good before, deck. before we jump into the game, we actually have something for you guys, for the Twitch chat, for our viewers, because we have an interesting raffle. We are raffling Lothar's shirt. No, no, no. <laughs> wait, no, I was misinformed. We are actually <laughs> we are actually raffling a match versus Lothar. So Lothar will play a show match versus uh one of you who will uh take part in a raffle. So how you can take in a raffle? I actually don't know, but there are instructions in the Twitch chat. So I'm sure there will be an explanation. So if you want to play versus Ro Lothar, Lothar will be playing live just behind us with uh, his um, comp pretty competitive decks, I would have to say. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were just going over them, so you know, we were just making sure they were top-tier decks. Top-tier decks. Uh, and we'll be casting it as well. Yeah. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I will be making sure that we'll have something fun to cast. So that's all we want, Lothar. Yeah, I just hope <laughs> I will not counter a face shaman three and times in a row. Lose 3-0. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like You've just told everyone what to play now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I even lost my headphones. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, all right, so I know, guys, you have to just type uh, raffle in the Twitch chat, uh, exclamation mark raffle. I'm sure you you already are doing it. and uh, I'll Even be before it. it started. Yeah, yeah. everybody yeah. 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 raffle. <laughs> it always <laughs> happens, right? Somebody mentions yeah. raffle, and like even randomly, there is no raffle going on, and people still are doing it. It's always it. worth doing it, though. Yeah. <laughs> just in case. And this time it will actually work. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I might do it myself actually. Just quickly uh, open up Twitch, <laughs> <laughs> and you get you get raffled out, and we have to bo go both go there, and then Nims will be solo casting it. I can I can manage it. <laughs> I'll ask Tice to help me. By the way, Tice, European champion, he's here again. He qualified, and uh, he is also the winner of DreamHack Bucharest. Um, I don't remember wi which one, but the I think the second one. And he got really close after yeah, that. that was the second 2015, one. 2015. Yeah, and because Gaira was on brink of winning back to back. 2014. Gara was 2014, 2015, Tice, I think. And then he w got in the final of the DreamHack Winter, losing only to Colento. Yeah. So uh, really impressive overall. And again, he qualified for this event. He wasn't invited. Where he There were no invites. No here. invites, yeah. Just to clear it up for <laughs> the <new> viewers. <laughs> there were no invites for qualified uh, qualifiers were made online before the event tournament started. And now we have 32 players here battling it out in five rounds of Swiss. Yeah, and I think for Tice as well, it's crazy just to, you know, w with the whole change of the rules where invites aren't allowed for anything that offers the uh, points, um, he just continues to show how good he is and how consistent he is. I mean, mm -hmm. we all we all knew it anyway, but to continue to battle through these open brackets and, and come out on top and qualify is just is really crazy. Yeah, it only uh, shows his skills and that he's just not getting lucky. He's one of the top players at the moment on the uh, top of his uh, Harson career. And looking at those decks, interesting. He, so he brought this zoo with Argent Squire. This is a more aggressive variant. Lothar, what can you tell us about this? Well, the Argent Squire is really a great pick against uh, other aggressive decks. It's good in Mirror. It shines with cards like, an example, Abuse of Surgeons. Every single buff that can be used with that, apart from PO, of course, uh, it just shines with Divine Shield. And not exactly sure how it will pair, uh, pair out against uh, the Game King's Priest because Priest can abuse Zuo by a huge mar margin with Alkanai Circle, 
an example. The Holy Novas are maybe not that uh, powerful against Zoo in general, but they are needed to win it anyway. Oh but look at that God. opener, Zombie Chant, Double Death Lords. Yeah, I wanted to say, like, Zoo is probably the matchup the Priest is aiming for. Like, you bring yeah. Priest to the tournament because you want to face Zoo, you want to defeat Zoo. Yeah, because one of the issues as well is that Zoo doesn't have uh, or normally run too many silences and any ways to deal with big minions. So, like, having two Death Lords from, from the start is crazy because it, it, you know, Tice will literally have to just punch his way through two Death Lords, and then the odds on the Death Lord dropping out just a small, you know, not insignificant, but a small minion for the zoo. It's actually pretty high. So even, you know, the, the, the uh, negative part of the Death Lord card isn't going to be too terrible versus zoo most yeah. of the time. Like, even yeah, if the silence is it's still a 2 8. Yeah, yeah, the silence is not a great option to do, uh, to, to actually um, be, be cast against the Death Lord because, as you said, you need to deal the same damage. The taunt is not a problem because you aim to kill that as soon as possible anyway. Yep. Uh, you don't want to see a Valence Chosen being played on that. You don't want to see Power Watch Shields or just even the hero power being used on it multiple times, right? So you need to burst down uh, burst down the Death Lord as soon as possible. And unfortunately for Zoo, there are only a few targets from the Death Lord that can benefit the, yep. the uh, Death Rattle. So let's say um, Doom Guard. I don't think Sea Giant is being played in Tice's version. Yeah, with Brown probably not, but uh, overall, <laughs> it was just the first thing that came to my mind mm -hmm. with the current versions. Corruption is actually awesome. Yeah, so Corruption's if not always a pick you want, but definitely against Whoa. Priest. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome that Tice um, knows the matchup, right? He knows that there yeah. might be Death Lord, probably will be, will be a Death Lord. Uh, in this matchup being played, so he takes the, the corruption and will be a huge, uh, huge swing next turn. Unless Priest will get a silence and will silence the corruption. Yeah, but then like um, he will have to use the silence. Like, I'm not sure that uh, silence is that played in Priest. Overall, uh, if Tice gets something like a Doom Guard, as you mentioned, that would be a huge swing anyway. So corruption was definitely a great pick for Tice. Is there a, a reason to not silence it, uh, to silence it instead of doing corruption? Because if you corruption... I don't think so. I think the corruption's fine because it, it means you don't have to put too much onto the board. I think the, the question is what he does with this corruption along with. So I actually quite like the tap here because playing okay. Argent Squire just doesn't really do anything, yeah. you know, on the board. You may as well draw the additional card, uh, keep your hand full because mm -hmm. later on, mm -hmm. you know, every time you tap, then you're getting closer to lethal. So um, I really like this. Just tap, draw the card, see what comes out of uh, the Death Lord and then go from there. So corruption does start, um, does trigger at the start of a Warlock's turn, right? Yep. And that means he will not be able to use the minion unless uh, it has a charge. Yeah. Oh, imagine if a Doom Guard came out. Yeah, that Doom Guard, right? So crazy. It just has to come out at this point. Well, let's see what would be the drop. What would be the worst minion to come out? Uh, hmm. You, you mean like worst, worse? Uh, yeah. That, probably. Yeah, well, Arjun Squire, probably. But Defender of Argus. 2-3 minion, not bad. You can kill the zombie trial, so that's fine. But I guess the bigger target here is uh, the Pyromancer. Because if it swings out of control, that's a problem. Yeah, yeah like re sort of repetitive board clears against Zoo mm -hmm. is what will really, uh, you know, like uh, dismantle the deck. Um, there is a Holy Nova available, which seems pretty okay, actually. Would you hutch Holy Nova trade and, and call it a day there? Yeah, yeah. I think it's absolutely yeah, it's awesome. correct play there. I really like uh, the thing about Tais overall is that he's so flexible with the with the decks he can play. Like I recently casted Tais playing Reno Lock. He was playing Handlocks before, and now he's playing Zoo. So whatever the deck is, he can play if he feels um, he can play it if he feels like it's good for the meta game. Now let's see what will be Tais doing this turn because it seems like the Knife Juggler might might be the play here. Even though if he Misses with the first uh, juggle, he will just play Abusive Surgeon for no real effect, just for the for the juggle, right? Because it feels so good mm. to just have that chance to kill the zombie chow, to heal yourself to, to 30 so you can tap more. What's what's crazy here is like Lotheb looks like a pretty good play. It looks okay, right? Yeah, but it's not. It's, it's not. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, because it doesn't really lock too much out in the form of spells, <laughs> but also because uh, Volt Jim would have just insta killed it along with the zombie child, so. Wait, this is I didn't understand there. that, actually. Why did Tice. Go for silence? Go for the silence first instead of the Argent Squire. Because he will have to. Si he really wanted to play RMB Gal to extend the, the number of minions and damage that he, he has on board. Okay, so he was planning not to tap anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was planning okay, just to have minions. That was the reason, yes. 
But then the silence was uh, wasn't even good playing silence there. Uh, if you'd go for abusive, as you mentioned, he'll have the same amount of power on board, more or less. It's just not floating mana. I think the good thing here is um, because Tice has Bran in hand, like Bran abusive mm -hmm. is one of those combos that <laughs> makes, ma makes Zoo so good because the trade up potential Zoo has is just ridiculous, especially with a card like uh, Argent Squire on board that can survive that trade as well. So um, I, I like this here. We probably are going to see the, the Bran and abusive. Yeah, actually, turn. the more I think about it, the better it was. Where on turn six, you would expect Cabo Shadow Priest. So something like Argent Squire will be stolen, and then you have that Bran abusive to. To kill the Cabal Shadow Priest without yep. many losses. An awesome play, to be honest. Yeah. And now the Absolute Surgeon with the Bran is actually a third PO without any downside. Yep. And I think um, it's actually just exact damage to kill the Death Lord. If but he gets the knife. Well, he can. He, he doesn't need the knife, does he? Uh, he can attack with the Knife Juggler, but if he doesn't want to attack with the Knife Juggler. Hmm. And it lands, so it will go on the Juggler, right? Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. he can attack with the owl and still keep the 1-1 one, one shielded. Now just hopes that there will be no couple Shadow Priest uh, to take the brand back. Ooh. Uh, that's no. a bad thing to get, I guess. Yeah. That's one of the wars, actually. Yeah, yeah. The, just because the uh, the effect from Dark Pedal is so big in, in Warlocked. But w one of the things here is like even if uh, Cabal Shadow Priest came out, you know, he still has a good selection of minions on the board mm -hmm. and he's got plenty of follow-up. Defend of Argus, uh, Creeper, Lothar, and obviously Doomguard probably later on. Uh, but he's got plenty of options, so it's not not in a bad position at all for Tice. Yeah, I think Tice is in a great position because um, Game King is actually missing AOEs. Uh, he got a Shadow um, Okanai, so he will be able to maybe clear the board if he gets Circle of Healing. But without it, he just has to play minions to be able to to counter this board somehow. Yeah, and the worrying thing here now is that um, Game King will want to try and remove Bran off the board because it's such a threat. But there's never, you know, like, at the moment we can see there's no great opportunity. I think Entombing Brand might be a bit too much to, to commit to. But as a second abusive gets drawn, and there's, I mean, like, Brand Defender of Argus. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So good. Well, Brand Defender of Argus and abusive on top of that. Yeah. You can get this uh, Squire to actually kill the 4-5 or five without problem at all. Yeah. I think you might actually just throw away the 2-1 to play a bit around Light Bomb. So you can Argus onto the Brand and the Squire. And then just buff the uh, the two one with the abusive, and then you just have the two minions that buffed with a divine shield, mm -hmm. and and Bran doesn't die to light bomb, and yeah, uh, doesn't and get stolen exactly. And then yeah, you know you leave the two two, but sure, you know when you look at the rest of the board, you're probably pretty okay with that. Yeah, it's True. absolutely awesome for Tice. How do you come back from this as a priest? Well, there's still an option of how can I circle? Yeah, I think we might even see in tomb go down on Bran now. Zombie Chow, now they could draw. Yeah, the Zombie Chow doesn't matter at this point. Uh, it might deal damage to face, but Tice is too far away. Yeah, the, the Entomb will definitely have to be played this turn. I think it almost has to, right? There's just yeah. too, way too much damage, <laughs> with, the, with the potential of even more in the deck. And with the Doom Guard discarding four cards, that is just <laughs> too big of a swing, right? <laughs> but when you think about it, Lotep adding ten mana it just on blocks spells <laughs> is like, okay, I guess I'm not playing... Anything apart from Circle of Healing. Well, there was still like a possible... <laughs> you could just play it just to be like, <laughs> I'm still going to play a spell. <laughs> possible Dark Iron Dwarf was also yes. a damage boost. And this is the problem. When th This is how Zoo wins, right? You know, it builds the board up, makes it awkward to deal with, and then it, c it continues to draw into either cards that allow it to trade up or cards that power forward for the win. Wow. Now, and this is another comeback card, right? After your opponent will cle sweep clean the board... Um, you can just play Implosion and get the board right back. And this means that uh, the game is almost over here. I don't see a way to come back, really. Even Circle of Healing is being blocked. It will be for 5 mana at least with Lothab. So it seems like the Priest is going to die. And uh, because it's last hero standing, Tyus will just stay with the deck. Yeah, and uh, the rest of the matchups is a Warrior and Paladin. So it doesn't look good for Game King, actually. Because yeah. the Zoo might be awesome against Warrior. It all depends if the Warrior gets the weapons yeah. in the opening hand. If he gets the Fear War Axe and the, de uh, and the Death Spot. Which Warrior are we talking about, though? Uh, whatever Warrior. Patreon is uh, versus Zoo is, is fine, I think. You have a lot of removal for the early drops. It's not like weapon, obviously. Like if you get the weapon, you're in a great mm -hmm. shape. But you can still get something like a Slam or uh, you have Warwinds to deal with um, 
implosion. So Wario had like patron has ways to deal with with the zoo early game, mm -hmm. and then if you get the patrons out, zoo cannot do anything. Mostly if there is no board. Yeah, I think. Well, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think getting one of the two weapons at least to start with is going to be pretty big. Because again, it, you know, having the weapons is fine, but if the zoo gets a head start where you can only say despite turn four with no removal, then unless you're going to follow that up with a big patron board, then yeah. even you know doing that and killing a couple of minions off won't be enough as zoo just stacks on the pressure even more. But I do agree with uh, control warrior matchup. That's exactly what happens. If there is no weapon, it's just over. And even if there is weapons, it still has ways to come back and uh, and win the game. With those minions like Lothurb and, and Doomguard in the end. Uh, but it's not like an, a lost matchup. Even if it's Patron, I would say it's maybe 55% in favor of Patron. Yeah, I think it's just really swingy, isn't it? Like, it's definitely reliant on the opening hand, I think. Yeah. Um, if the zoo gets a quick start, then, you know, they will always appreciate that. But really just rely on the death bite and uh, just any sort of interaction. Even like a frothing berserker mm -hmm. that can be difficult for zoo to actually deal with. Yep. To deal with Vault. And it's a card that they can't ignore, which is why the card's so good in itself. You know, you can just play it and be like, if, if you don't kill it, I'm going to hit you very hard next turn. Yeah, and the Paladin, on the other hand, you said it's uh, a good matchup for zoo, and I absolutely agree with that. Um, it can just... Mm, deny the paladin what it values the most, so board control, right? Yeah. Because Zoo has more minions than uh, uh, than the paladin because he has more one drops, more two drops, so he can flood the board more easily and uh, doesn't depend on one card, which is master for battle, right? Because that's the best tool to play on curve, on curve, sorry. And um, we'll see how that goes because right now, Game King is queuing up the paladin. Yeah, so he so it's either Contra Warrior on his side, or he feels like he has a better chance to to steal it with the Paladin, or he wants to keep the Warrior for some other matchup. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one though, because if uh, if Game King loses this match, then he has his Warrior to try and three or Tice with, which I think with Tice's lineup is going to be pretty tough. We don't know what uh, Warrior is Tice playing. Uh, not yet. We didn't see it. Yeah, that's true. All right, but Warlock versus Paladin. So Zoo versus Secret. Was that a Secret Paladin? Yeah, this is a Secret Paladin. We've had the good old competitive spirit turn one. A really good opening. Yeah, Ave Avenger's going to be really good here, though, mainly because there's the Creeper on the board. So I imagine, depending on what Tyus comes out with, like you would probably naturally favor the Creeper, but maybe you just you know value the uh, the power from the mini bot instead and then go into Creeper and com Comp Spirit for turn three as those things sort of work together as well. This is super nice. Argent Squire, Void Walker into Dire Wolf Alpha if he goes for it. Uh, if there is something like a Shield Mini Bot, you can deal with it easily. Most of the things you actually kill. Yeah, um, Tice has got all the options in the world here, especially just getting the egg down as well. It's pretty good. And a secret drawn from Game King is not what he wants to see. He has his turn two. And probably he's turn three locked in already, but still, you kind of want to start drawing to those Shredder, Belcher uh, challenges uh, pretty quickly now. Yeah, Hunter Creeper was uh, an obvious play right there. Because I don't think you would pop it. Yes, like if if it's a venge, then you put your opponent in a position when he actually has multiple yeah. minions, and we know that Tice is playing a silence in his deck, so he might get to draw it in the upcoming turns, so you can benefit mm -hmm. from canceling the effect effect of of avenge, and. Um, even if it's competitive spirit, a 2-3 minion doesn't make a difference. It still can't go through uh, the, uh, the 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 Void Walker. The only difference will be here a Masterful Battle. But then if it's Masterful Battle, then you have multiple minions to deal with the one ones. So that's not a problem. So I really like that. Just play on curve and uh, deal damage to the face. Absolutely. Just apply the pressure there. Um, okay. So now Shield Mini Bot and one of the secrets. He cannot do much here about this Void Walker. The question, Raven, do you think you attack with this Hunter Creeper to have more minions on board for a possible competitive spirit? Uh, it's a tough one, yeah. I think um, if you attack, that you know they can get traded into by all the minions on the board anyway. So but there's Avenge, right? Yeah, well. yeah, it's definitely a tough one. I mean, it's hard because you're going to get, you, well, you're probably going to get an Avenge either way, right? Um, but Ty's in such a good position that he might just choose to just ignore his opponent's minions, so maybe the attack could be worth to sort of force some board interaction as opposed to just saying, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well, you still need both of those minions to get through Voidwalker, so I'll just push again and just pressure for even more damage, play the Imp Gang boss and follow up from there. So um, I actually like attacking just because it re represents the threat of a competitive spirit actually doing some work. True. I mean, Tyze will probably know 
he will have a 50-50 after making the first attack, right? Because he will yep. know if it's Noble Sacrifice. If it's not, then it might be Competitive Spirit. And yeah, then he's narrowing down the options by uh, by a lot. Well, well, it seems like the M-King boss is the best play, right? But first you have to figure it out, how do I check for the secrets? Yeah, I think if you can check for them, you do. Because it's not like he's not going to bother attacking regardless. Mm -hmm. uh, the Avenge going on the 5-4 with Divine Shield uh, isn't fantastic for Tice. Um, isn't but fantastic, but then you kill the 1-1 with your 2-2 two -two and you still have the huge... <laughs> huge taunt <laughs> the in the way. Huge two two taunt. Yeah, so it still does the same job, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it gives you it gives you time, and, and you're the one racing. You're the one doing damage here. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, that's even better. Uh, or uh, is it? To, to, to be honest, I wouldn't like that because master. if your opponent d yeah. does top deck the master, then it's kind of sad, right, to see that happening, to see that happen, and you lose your MK boss to the attack. There is no consecration. Well, pile the treasure, kill the two one, go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is this turn taking so long? Um, yeah, and this is you know like again, just as you said, like really good benefit of, of the mini bot taking the avenge there because there's no good way to deal with this two one. So six attacks worth of divine shielded mini bot, he's gonna go into just hitting one health, um, mm -hmm. which you know must feel pretty damn good for Tice. Yeah, the overall it feels good because Tice has tempo advantage um, for now. Um, Pio can easily deal with the 6-5. But will you use it? You have two eggs. Yeah, so maybe just uh, go for both eggs and just go face. Continue racing. Well, the, the Die Wolf Alpha has a huge target on its head. Right? It's like a bounty for, for the Paladin. You need to kill it ASAP. And I guess you can just play eggs on the both sides or... or of the of the minions ignore okay not ignore that because you need to kill that, that totem right now but your opponent will be do you will have to dedicate his attack with the six five minion to the die wolf alpha which is not ideal right yeah and then you can just use the egg and po next turn to kill it off yeah he is going to go to clear the mini bot though so probably deems it too much of a threat and maybe with the uh the chance for sludge belcher next turn where he can hide behind you know maybe it's like you know what i'm taking this off the board while i can and um, it sucks that the totem's still alive but um you know you can still go for it he does also get one egg down so that's pretty good as his next turn's probably going to be low theb um because if he just played two eggs and the po would uh, if it came down next turn then the Lothab isn't getting played. So just freeing up his mana for that. And this totem is now going to do some work. Yeah, and also Repentance for a possible Lothab. Um, or, or just at any 5-drop that can show up. If there's a Doomguard coming, so Game King knows that he's playing around those things. Yeah, and there's almost no reason not to play the Repentance there. Because like, yeah. th there are no like key turns in, in Zoo. It's not like you can Repentance ready for turn 8 against Paladin and you know stop block the Tyrion. Whereas, uh, you know, th that was fine and it does... Uh, does get played, and now we'll see if Tice actually chooses to play around Repentance or just slam in. Well, well he's that. thinking about it right now because yeah. he, he was counting which secrets were played, and now he's playing yeah. around Repentance by playing the egg. And this players. is nice because he can get a PO from, yeah, the, if from he the Dark yeah. Peddler, yeah. run the wow. egg in. Behind. Such a huge swing. Oh. Uh, nope. Uh, so but Finley, wait. though. So Finley? I don't think No, I'm so. not saying you should pick that. <laughs> no, you need, you need Carter, especially actually, if you're you at 30. The Blood Cell Corsair is not that bad either. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> checking the board. Uh, three of those picks are actually okayish. The, the easiest one of is of course uh, is of course the flamen because it's a big big uh, minion on its own. Finlay will allow you to use hero power to draw a card next turn and then use another hero power to, in example, use a paladin hero power or rogue hero power to build up more control. Uh, and the bloodstar courser is reactive. This is something probably you don't want to have in, in your hand, but it, it has some value against the Paladin. Yeah, yeah, but still, I think Flamen was the the biggest out of them. I think because he had one mana to spare, and he could just drop it this turn. I thought like, that, yeah, that you, was probably you throw the, the power reason. on yeah. the board, and, and you know, because board control for the, both of these decks is everything. It's win or lose on the board. Um, so yeah, I kind of like it. it's an abusive. Oh, oh my god, situation. that's pretty good. Yeah, really good. Abusive. Exact mana to drop Lothab as well. So mm -hmm. this is gonna he can remove the three two off the board. Um, Does he know he the secret? What was the secret? The secret's the noble sacrifice, I believe. Oh, okay. So he will have to probably, um, you know, lose his imp as well. But when you you leaving one egg on the board, putting a four four and a five five with the low effect, I think you're probably not too yeah. upset with Th that. There's something even more sweet overall for Tice 
Paladin has no cards. Yep. Uh, Divine Favor will not rescue him. One thing I would like to talk here about is why did Tyus use the Abusive Surgeon on the 0-2 egg instead of the 0-1? Because... Possible Knife Juggler. Uh, okay, that's one of the reasons, but you are not playing around... Nah, never mind. They will require like three cards for the Paladin, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna happen this game. Yeah. So yeah, basically Knife Juggler. Nope. Speaking of which... Knife Juggler can hit the egg and uh, pop it, and that will be... And, uh, and also, th there's no way that, that Tyus doesn't actually want this egg proc. To, you know, in this matchup specifically, he's not really playing around AoE that much, because Paladins normally run like maybe one Consecrate, if any. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah, he's yeah. so far ahead, it's like, oh, and there we go, there's the one snipe that was needed. So there's another 4-4 to deal with, and this is just getting progressively worse for Game King. <laughs> Two four pre minions. Well, this is actually 14 damage, half of the um, paladin's life. So it all depends on what kind of draws you get. Well, you it need to kill the knife juggler. Yeah, way. exactly. It's, it's not over yet. Um, Game King can still get the mysterious challenger, which will be a big drop on board. And then uh, he's uh, far from dying, even even the next turn, even though there's uh, a lot of damage. Thing is, well, this because Tice is on no cards. Like Doom Guard's even better, right? We've not seen yeah. any yet. And if he top decks a Doom Guard into tap and then another minion, then this game could end very, very quickly. Well, at least you can clear up the low tap here. But it's not looking good for the Paladin. He needs a Dr. Boom or Tyrion next He, he needed the did there actually, even. Because Master for Battle uh, was able to clear Lothar, but didn't do much. Uh, so, Tyce is in a great position overall. Next team. Hotter Creeper is uh, not much, but it's something. <laughs> Can I have well, a Dr. Doctor One. <laughs> Dr. Voodoo. Dr. Voodoo, what I'm talking <laughs> about. <laughs> That's you the just, new name. You just cued <laughs> me you, you know, into that. You Dr. Me <laughs> One. I'm sorry, Lothar. Dr. One. <laughs> Young Priest is not bad either, but the Voodoo Doctor is actually doing the same work, but twice the same turn, right? Because you yeah. can attack to a 1-1, one -one <laughs> for example, with one of the four frees, and then <laughs> heal it up twice. <laughs> yeah, but you're the aggressor. That's why you. You and your crazy favorite. plays, Lotha. No, uh, just you know, <laughs> the game. Just gotta think about plays, these things, right? <laughs> plays so itself. So. Wow, an avenge. You can see on Game King's face there. He's like, this guy's probably not gonna trade next to him. <laughs> yeah, not trading into my minions. <laughs> he's he's gonna somehow mind games tie so hard that he doesn't win next turn. I'd be impressed. Tide's good. So <laughs> four flame limbs or three. Free at least. Free at least, Free. right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Justice. That's quite a lot. So can we say that was a flaming victory for Thais? Mm -hmm. We can definitely say that, Nim. Perfect. <laughs> You've not been as on point with these today. And I need you to, to do better, to be honest. <laughs> Just okay. to well, well not, not better, more. more. That's what I'm asking I'll for. I'll do my more. best. I'll do my best. Uh, to put our viewers in some perspective or context, this is the game where one of those players will be advancing to top 16 already after this victory, because they are both 2-0 uh, in the tournament and to advance to day 2 to the top 16 and win some cash already, which is $500 for the top 16, uh, they need one more game win. Basically. Absolutely, because 3-0 is, uh, is enough, uh, even if you lose the next two in the five five rounds. With it probably. Two. I'm not sure because I would have we to We have 32, map, yeah, yeah, but like oh, most probably with 32 players to get to top 16, 3-2 should be enough. And obviously, they start with 3-0, so it's not like the given that they, they will actually lose the, la the two last, uh, next yeah, matches, yeah. being in top form today. Yeah, but also remember, like uh, this is the game where a player will go through, but I have no doubts that whoever does will continue to try and go for like 5-0 or something. Because even though, as you said earlier, all the guys here are really good, uh, there's no question about that, but you definitely want to go in with like 5-0 and just get the highest seed and then continue from there. Yeah, Th There's one problem. When you're going XO undefeated in Swiss, then usually there's a, a, a curse <laughs> on that player <laughs> and, he and, and he is losing the cut. He's like losing the first match yeah. after the cut and he's out of the tournament, which is kind of sad. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I do agree with you, Lothar. Like in, in WoW TCG mostly and in Magic, we've seen that players who are undefeated on day the one, they yeah. do just lose next day. <laughs> and, and it's like, oh my god, I just played 13 <laughs> games in Swiss and I had a perfect record, but then it's single elimination top 8 and I'm just like, oh. I'm surprised yeah, you've even risked jinxing that, considering Tice is one of the games where <laughs> one of the players are actually casting now. So, well, you know, I'm just talking about the possibilities. <laughs> it can okay. happen to anyone. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, they're both in great shape um, overall today uh, with 2-0 score, but Game King is in trouble at the moment, playing versus Tice, uh, just destroying all his decks with Zoo. But now I'm really curious about this warrior. 
Is that a contra warrior because he killed Paladin, which was mm -hmm. a bad matchup? Well, we'll see. We'll have to see because um, that's the last deck for Game King. I guess it probably is the control version because we already saw um, who was playing it before. Um, Moody, Moody was yeah. playing yeah. Contra Warriors. So maybe making oh, some it's patron. Oh, it's it's patron, patron though. Never mind. So yeah, uh, I'm good. really interested. Why didn't he queue it up before then? Probably lineup wise, like maybe he had a decision that he wanted to save this deck for something else. But uh, yeah, Patron, we talked about it a bit. If Patron has weapons, it's a really good matchup. If it doesn't have weapons, it still can have some removal to deal with Zoo. Uh, in this situation, that's what I want is, uh, if I play Patron versus Zoo. Yeah, you just you just need that early removal. And actually, having Fiery War Axe froth in Deathbite is pretty huge for Game King here. So he's definitely got off to a pretty good start. And then he just needs to, for, for him, hopefully draw into the Patron turn for turn five. Because he already has that Deathbite. He just needs to lock in the other cards to air. Because once, once he gets Patrons on the board against Zoo, there's almost nothing they can do about it. Because you just trade everything and continue to build your board. Absolutely. Like, even with those weapons and the frothing, maybe there will be... A an opportunity for him to just win with the frotting, killing everything that's being played and uh, attacking phase a couple of times to, to put uh, your opponent in the range of uh, Gromash or whatever. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't even mind the coin fireworks here because although you're not necessarily going to do anything turn two, you can battle rage for one since he has two in hand, but also what this does is make it very likely that you can clear the board next turn to then play frothing on an empty board, which is actually really powerful because Zoo just yep. doesn't, can't, can't really deal with that unless they the following turn they implosion for four or something which... Will, yeah. will gonna happen. Will <laughs> gonna happen. Yeah. You're gonna see. Oh, the patron already is being yep. drawn. This yeah. is a huge thing because it, so it changes the dyna dynamic of how the warrior can be playing this game. That's yeah. not only everything, like Tyus is actually missing turn 3, he only has the knife juggler. He decided to tap here because he had nothing as a follow-up uh, against that weapon and he still doesn't have anything. So he might just need to slam the juggler or just tap again to maybe draw a, a 4 drop that can survive this. Oops. That's a really bad start. Fireworks not even ne needed to be used. Yeah, now we're going to see if he decides to go for the uh, implosion. the implosion or not. I mean, it, it's really tough because it's one of those things where it can r really pay off or it can just pot cause more problems. Because if you implosion for like two <laughs> and then and then the whirlwind, then suddenly the frosting berserker is putting on a lot of pressure. Yeah, but I like how um, Game King attacked with the weapon, basically sensitized. Well, I have the death spider, but at the same time being effective with his cards, yeah. and um, I like that a lot because he did. He won't have an option to play anything else. On oh, oh, you my called God. it! I called it. Oh my I God. did call it. Uh, so that's one of the swings that I really dislike in this game. <laughs> 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 well, you know, it's a 33% to maybe get a win. Be just solely based on that turn, right? Yeah, yeah it's pretty. It's pretty good. Not only because uh, he got uh, he killed Frodding and got those imps. Normally, they will just die to the whirlwind effect. But there is a, a defender of Argus mm -hmm. that can stop the death by from being super effective. Yeah, this is going to be really interesting how Tice chooses to approach this turn because, as you said, the imps normally just die. Uh, but what he has to still think about is patrons. So, um, if he played say Lotheb, then. Game King could have just put two patrons on the board with the weapon. And uh, even two patrons against Zoo is pretty good when they've got nothing else on board straight into. So the Argus really heads up play, just making this as awkward as possible for Game King. And mm -hmm. it also has a, a psychological impact because Game King is 0-2 uh, at the moment. And then he sees Implosion for 4 and uh, Lothar. How does uh, affect the player at that at level? It goes into full tilt. <laughs> I mean, 100% <laughs> 100% tilt. tilt, especially if you're German. So, well, he's all, never mind, he's all true. Um, but it, it, it's a huge problem when, when you see that kind of outcomes, especially that you have, like, no influence on that, right? Yeah. You're just, you're just being punished by a role. So, kind of sucks. Especially yeah, when you're on brink of advancing to the yeah. day two, right? You, you just need to win this match, but it's slipping through your fingers. Yeah, and then this is a really interesting one. There's some sort of, if we rewind the game a little bit, to game two, there was, uh, sorry, to turn two, there was two Battle Rages in hand. And if it was me, I, whether this is right or wrong, I probably would have just Battle Rage turn two for, to draw one because he didn't have too much. And now he's sort of suffering from that a little bit and having to, to Battle Rage twice this turn just to cycle because, you know, patrons wouldn't have done anything that turn. Attack and execute just isn't good enough. By the way, I love how Tice used the PO last turn just to get the damage already done. Because there's no advantage of using that PO on minions, usually, right? Because you will have hard time removing the patrons anyway. But if you deal enough damage 
just from the minions to the opponent's face, you pressure him to a point where he there's no point to return for the warrior, right? Yeah, yeah. you, you, you can't spend a turn damage. just making patrons and go, yeah. well, next turn I'll win, because you then you're dead. Yeah, so, exactly. yeah, I, I agree. I thought it was really good. And the thing is, as well, he used an imp that if the warrior attacked, well, would have died anyway, right? So yeah, you may exactly. as well just use it mm -hmm. to push for damage, pressure your opponent, because he's on 14. I mean, the Warlock is on 16, but it's as we over. can see, the, the board's a little bit one-sided. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely over at the moment, so I don't see anything that uh, Game King can do to come back. If he attacks with the weapon and uses the Execute and Lothab, he's taking two, goes down to 12, and there is uh, no. at least 7, 11. Yeah, there is enough damage with the Abusive and uh, PO. Like, we know this is, this is enough, but Game King doesn't know it yet, so he has it's to make the best play. Eight damage from the hand. For five mana. If you have a minion. Yeah, yeah, with, yeah. with Brown as well. This is tough. Are we actually just going to see a six mana execute on Lothap here? Most likely. Oh, wait. Just well, that's the en same exact yeah, amount yeah, of damage, but you want to save that Wyvern for patrons. Yeah. So it makes more sense to execute. Yeah, but then obviously Tyus is enough uh, to, to win this. Yeah, he has Bran, Abusive, the other PO. Well, that was quick, right? 3 0. I heard Zoo's a good deck. Yeah, but we do have one more match lined up because uh, if this happens, we have a second match going on. Um, but first, obviously, we'll interview Tice and see what's up. And then remember, guys, there's the raffle to play versus Lo uh, Lothar. That's uh, me. I want to say play versus Lothar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's a um, common, you know, mistake. Lo is Lothar like your evil, ugly evil twin when you were the, the one beautiful guy? <laughs> Oh my so God, it, I don't know how it, to reply so to so that. So is this know? like I'm a just is this like a world balance discussion where <laughs> because you you're so good looking, Lothar, there needs to be an oh, alternate I'm version. Blushing, that's I'm, <laughs> I'm blushing now. No homo PNG, right? <laughs> Cup up, right? <laughs> yeah, but uh, let's focus on the winner of this game who is advancing <laughs> to gate, where is to gate he? Where is day he? two, right? Ties, come here, L rescue me from where is he? <laughs> those guys here. <laughs> the situation. Yeah, he's coming here. Oh, he's coming. Um, they're, they're discussing the matches probably. Um, I actually wanted to ask Game King why did he why did he kill Paladin instead of Patron, but in the end, like both decks actually lost anyway. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Uh, Ties will be coming here. Yes. Come on, man. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are we doing, man? I'm guess I'm guessing you're pretty happy. Yeah, well, I have felt worse, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm doing pretty good now. Yeah. Not really well, you started the day with a zero seven score on ladder, right? Yeah, yeah, let's not talk, talk too much <laughs> about that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Instant regret in telling you about that. <laughs> well, I think I just, uh, yeah, I uh, peak at the right moment, I guess. So the moment where you implosion for four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know how important it was. I think if it was three, it was also decent. But uh, yeah, if it was the only two. But I had no other option there. Yeah, of course. I had a really, yeah, dead hand. I didn't want to play Knife Juggler. And yeah, I'll just... Uh, Sometimes, Sometimes you just, just have, have to hope that it... But, but I, I think, think if the whole World 3, it was fine. And he couldn't go for the wind anyway because it killed off his own minions. So. Mm -hmm. so for you specifically, which was the best game like overall? You play versus Priest, you play versus Paladin and versus uh, Patron. I like, I like the, the game against, against Priest the most, I think, think because, because uh, people really yeah, yeah think, think that, that it is really favorite for the Priest. And I think it is a bit favorite. But if you know a bit like what is in the deck and if you know what to play around... and. They don't, they don't run that many minions, minions at all. You, you just, just have to make sure that for the minions and picking, picking up a corruption, corruption is always yeah. it's, it's like <laughs> insta pick <laughs> against uh, priest if you can pick it, and that really helped me. Yep. Yeah, I think the corruption pick from the peddler. We we were talking about it the second it came yeah. up. It's like that's a good card versus Even death lord. Not, not at turn three, it will always find some value. Yeah. So uh, yeah. yeah, that's true. So we are possibly qualified for tomorrow with a 3-0 mm -hmm. win. Like even if you lose the next games, uh, you you are probably qualified. Are you going to just chill and just throw the games away? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so no, you're going for the 5-0 score? Yeah, I, I will do my best. And not even just for myself to get a good tiebreaker, but also for the other uh, players that are playing. For some people, my tiebreaker matters. And yeah, that's true. I think it's always fair to in Swiss that you play your all your rounds the best mm -hmm. that you can. And so to play for that sweet Gosu Gamers points. Oh, oh obviously. Yeah. obviously. Yeah, right? I need them. So if you, <laughs> face, if you face an opponent in round five, and if he wins versus you, he qualifies, you will still play your best out of respect. Yeah, and I defeat will. them and eliminate them and out of the tournament. Yeah. Out of respect. <laughs> yeah, well. <and laughs> nice guy, Tyler. But I think it's also cool. Uh, like, your, your opponents, opponents also want that you play your best. And, uh, yeah, that's Like, in Swiss, Swiss, I have been at other spots, spots too, where it like, really matters sometimes that one win. And it, it, you, you, you should always give everything you have. So, is there anyone you want to face specifically? Like, just to play, maybe hang out? 
Um, mm, I would like to. No, I don't really have like a specific one. I'm uh, just lineups. It's just you have. I actually don't really know what the all the lineups are. I hope I face. Uh, Something else than uh, Drudfeld in Warlock. It was like my first two series. <laughs> this one was already really cool with the uh, priest and. Uh, well, we saw the yeah. statistics. There's there are 24 players bringing Druid, 18 yeah. players bringing Paladin, and two players bringing Rogue. Zero yeah. players bringing Hunter. No hunters, yeah. Zero hunter and zero hunters. Yeah. Oh, I was really long considering Rogue, uh, but I don't. I don't. Fit, I don't know if Druid. It can work here really well, mm -hmm. but everybody has who everybody has spelled into, so it's really still tricky to bring Druid. And uh, what does it mean uh, for you to be here? You qualified again. Uh, mm -hmm. This is wha one another tournament you qualified, and you're the previous champion mm -hmm. of the uh, of one of the DreamHack Bucharest in, in, in Bucharest. So uh, and also European champion. Mm -hmm. So being here, do you, does it uh, give you like more pride, or how do you feel about it? A bit, bit maybe. Uh, uh, I think uh, because, because this, this is like it was all qualified from the start, and just showing that you can also that I play qualifiers sometimes and. That I can also yeah show my best in these qualifiers. This is how I started with the uh, early cups in Hearthstone uh, with the, yeah. the King of the Hills. Like this is how it started for me, and I think it's like a perfect also opportunity for new players to get into the scene. And uh, yeah, I'm also happy to just uh, show that I can do it this way. Perfect. Awesome. Great. Raven, go far. I'm good. I'm just proud. <laughs> <laughs> We're all proud. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it, right? All right. Uh, so uh, we still have a backup match for you guys. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back in, a, in the next match in just a moment. Right now, we'll go into a short break and, uh, and prepare it and be back in just a couple of minutes. So give us some time.